The Beltrami County Sheriff's Office is getting put to the test by the National Institute of Corrections with a jail and justice system assessment. The NIC will look at the build and infrastructure of the Beltrami County Jail, among other things. How are all our systems working together? So as far as like probation, um, the police department, sheriff's department, uh, the judicial system, how is everything coming together? Before the visit, the NIC received data such as how many people have been arrested in the last 10 years. These trends help determine what needs best fit the jail. The assessment can reveal several options for improvement. If you do these remodeling type things, you can um, fix those same issues. Otherwise, it may be as far as, you know, in the next so many years, you should do a new facility. Located in downtown Bemidji, the jail opened in 1989. In 2001, the Minnesota Department of Corrections approved the capacity for 106 inmates. As of this morning, there were 109 inmates. Jail Administrator Melissa Bowman hopes the assessment will address the jail's biggest problems. I hope that we see our population declining some in here. Um, I hope that we're able to offer more um, mental health services, that kind of stuff. On average, 15 to 20 inmates are in other facilities due to the high population, but Trammy County Jail pays $55 a day for each inmate that's housed out. The three-day assessment concludes with additional interviews on Tuesday and a wrap-up meeting on Wednesday to discuss the results and any recommendations. It's huge for the community. I mean, they're the taxpayers. They're the ones that need to be aware of what's going on in be educated to know what our issues are in the system. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News.